Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll be comparing the Easy Detangler brush with the Tangle Teaser. I've done a previous video comparing the Easy Detangler brush with the White Tooth Comb and I thought that brush was the best thing in the world at the time. And now I have the Tangle Teaser and I think this brush is the best thing of all time. So today my two favourite brushes are going head to head. So I'm going to be doing one section at a time just because you know my hair is high porosity and if I wet it it's going to be dry by the time I get to the next section. So I'm starting off with this front section and I'm saturating it with water as much as I can without it dripping on my clothes and then I'm applying some conditioner um, just enough to provide some slip for the brush to go through my hair easier. This is the Garnier Ultimate Blends Hair Food the Banana and Sheer Conditioner. I'll have a full review of the line up on my channel next week so if you want to see that video make sure you subscribe. And before I go in with the brush, I start to finger detangle my hair just to help the detangling process and to reduce snagging and hair fall. Bye. So here we go, starting off with the Tangle Teaser in lane one. Joking. But yeah, you guys know how I feel about this brush. It's so good. I definitely do recommend it to anyone who's got similar hair to mine. I'm not sure how it will work with denser hair. I haven't tried it out on my son's hair yet, but he does use the easy detangler brush in his hair and it works absolutely fine in his hair like no snagging or anything like that. And also I've tried it in my younger son's hair as well. This kind of snags with his hair. His hair's like 3B, 3C and it's very fine. I find that it snags his hair quite a lot. So yeah, I don't use this brush on his hair at all. But honestly guys, look how easy it's detangling my hair. I literally done this whole side in a minute. In a full minute, I've actually left the video in real time just so that you guys can actually see how quick it's doing its job. I bought mine from Boots for $12.99, no discount, no nada. I got mine in a colour Purple Passion but there are other colours. There's a light pink, a lilac I think, a dark blue and a light blue from what I've seen anyway. Um, there's also a larger size as well if you feel like that's what you want or need but this size was perfect for my hand, my hand grip. So that's both sides done and look how quick and easy that was guys. Honestly, best brush in the world. You win. Perfect. So now I'm moving on to the next side with the Easy Detangler brush. So I do still think this brush is pretty decent and it still does a better job than a wide tooth comb. My only gripe with this brush is that it snags at the roots and I don't get that snagging action with my Tangle Teaser. I find that it just works its way through the knots whereas this one will just snag and then you have to put the brush down for a minute and use your fingers again and then continue to brush. So that and the fact that it's quite clumsy in my hand it's much more weightier than the Tangle Teaser brush and yeah so it just feels a little bit more clumsy in my hand than the Tangle Teaser but in saying that I actually prefer the grip of the Easy Detangler brush you know it's not completely smooth it's got like a rubber base where you can get some grip but it still managed to slip out my hand in, in this video because it was just it's just clumsy in my hand and as I mentioned before the brush works really well in my son's hair he has thick 4B hair and he uses this brush more than I do these days. He used to struggle with detangling hair when he's washing his hair with the white tooth comb and with his afro pig as well. He always used to leave like big knots in the back but I haven't heard any complaints since he's been using the easy detangler brush. So as you guys can see it's not gliding as well as it was with the tangle teaser on the other side. My face is so rude I'm acting like I didn't ever love this brush once upon a time. <laughs> it's like when you move on and you find someone better like it's like she never even mattered to me at all. <laughs> but now, you still have a place in my household. Don't worry. Don't worry. She doesn't get neglected. She's still very much used. <laughs> but yeah, I still would recommend this brush. Especially if you have thicker hair. As I said, it works well in my older son's hair. But I don't think any of these brushes will work well if you have fine hair. Just from my experience when I'm combing my son's hair, they both snag the hair out of his hair. So the brush I use for my younger son's hair is a Tangle Tamer Denman brush. It's got really fine bristles. It just works really well on his hair. Not much snagging at all because my, my younger son cannot take snagging on his hair. Oh, he cries so much. I have no idea why my lights were flashing like that. It was meant to be like a, a solid yellow. 
there was like no orange on it at all i don't know why it was flashing like that i'm so confused it looks like a freaking circus So yes, these are two better options than the wide tooth comb, for my household anyway, but there's only one winner, my bestie, the one and only, the Tangle Teaser. <laughs> you lose. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick comparison video. The review for the Garnier Ultimate Blends line will be up next week, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see that video. So I'll see you guys then, or maybe sooner, you never know. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!